Hi, I'm Channing from AccuCraft Trains, and today I'm going to go over our AccuCraft Dora, and I'm going to show you guys how to operate a live steam locomotive, and this will be kind of for beginners, all the tools you might need for when you run or run any live steam locomotive that's butane fired. Uh, so we'll start with opening our box. You get the instruction manual and you get a boiler test certificate that shows it was tested uh, under pressure for, for a certain amount of time. And this is the steam dome, which is decorative. Inside, you get some tools. You get a pair of gloves, which is useful because a live steam gets hot and you might burn your fingers. You get a syringe for water, a smaller syringe, which can be used for oil, and a few tools that can help you to tune up your model. Take it out. So this is the Dora, that's the safety valve, the steam dome just flip, slips right over that. This is the cab roof, which you can squeeze to remove if it gets in your way. So I'll go over the basic controls of a life steam model. First you have this is the throttle valve also known as a steam valve. And that controls how much steam you're gonna use and how fast your model goes. Next, there's the gas tank. This model runs on butane. You have a gas valve, which controls how much gas you're using and how hot your burner gets. If you go too low, it'll run, you won't generate enough steam, and too high, you'll burn your, this is the oil lubricator, and every model has an oil lubricator for putting steam oil. When you open your throttle, it takes steam and it runs through there and it picks up a little bit of oil. That goes into the cylinders and it keeps your cylinders lubricated uh, and it keeps your engine from breaking down. So, next is the burner here. This goes down into the boiler. This is a, called a poker burner. And you can see inside, maybe you can see it. This is the water cap. This is where you would add water into the boiler. It's not a big boiler, this model. So you don't wanna fill it all the way up or there's not gonna be any room to generate steam. And usually I add a little I'll add it full of water and I'll take some out, and that's a good starting point. Uh, you don't want your engine to run out of water because then you're dry firing the boiler and that will damage it. And these models are designed to run out of gas before they run out of water. So I'll go over some of the tools you'll need. Uh, your basics is steam oil. Every model needs steam oil to run. It's best to use distilled water for live steam modeling because it keeps your boilers clean and free from sediments. And then this one needs butane. So this is butane fuel, which you can get from online or some grocery stores. This one's for a portable gas stove. And just as it is, you can't actually reach the gas tank. So you'll need a gas adapter. We have two adapters for extending the length of your gas tank to reach down there. So first, we have the slip-on adapter, which works with this kind of can only that has a notch. And you will put it on just by turning it until both 
tabs are on the edge of the can. And then you just go straight down into the gas tank. There's a gas valve. Squeeze it, push it down, and you'll be adding gas into the tank. The other one we have is this. This one has threads, and you can screw on. This is meant for a specific type of can, which is a propane butane mix. And those are good for larger models or for when you want a lot more pressure, because propane is a higher pressure than butane. Uh, but this won't actually fit directly onto this type of can. So we have this, which is an in-between adapter. And you just push this on here. Then you can screw this on. And this works great because it can't leak. It's very secure. And then you can still use this on the other type of cans that have the screw ends. So I'll show you guys right here. That's the gas inlet valve. And when you're holding it flat down, you can push down. And usually when it's full, you'll get a little bit of spray coming out. Then you're full. You add water into the top, you seal it off, you add your oil, in here, and you want to add it up to that line, at least covering that line. When you're running, the oil is going to get used and it actually has water was going to replace the oil and the water is going to go below it. So when you're done running, you want to remove that, you can use this, which is a metal syringe. It goes right into there and you can just extract any excess oil and water when you're finished running and then into the trash. So now we've got gas in the gas tank. Now we're going to add some water to the boiler right here. I've taken the cap off already. I've already added some just to show you guys, you know, where it goes. I think I've got just about three fourths full. I'm going to put the cap back on. Make sure it's tight because there's going to be pressure. If it's too loose, you, the cap could come off. Now we've got water in the boiler and gas in the gas tank. The last thing you need to add is steam oil to that lubricator. So I'll open the cap on the lubricator. And you see inside there's a, a, a pipe. That's a steam pipe. And you want to make sure you fill up your lubricator so that this oil covers that line. That's how the steam is going to pick up the oil to take it to the cylinders. Okay. Now we've got the oil, water, and butane. This is ready to steam. Put on the track, open the front, get your lighter ready. You can kind of get a feel, you can hear the gas a little bit. Before you open the gas, put your lighter to the front. You can hear it. It's, let, it, it's been lit. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And this model has a really short boiler. You don't want the fire to be too hot or it will melt 
the front of your door. And you can leave your door open for the first run to get a feel for how much you need to build up pressure. Some people do have trouble getting the fire lit or keeping it lit or adjusting it. And every model is a little different. So here is an air collar on the end of the burner. This collar has a screw and you can unscrew it and move it around and adjust how much air you're mixing with your butane. And that's kind of trial and error to see what's right for the best you know, burner to get the most out of your gas and without melting the front. And once, you're, once you have the burner going and you're just waiting, you wait a five, five minutes or so, you'll start to have a little bit of pressure coming out of the safety valve here. And once this, you see the steam coming out, you, mean, you know you're at pressure and you can open your throttle a little bit. Now the Dora is a little different than some other steam models because it uses oscillating cylinders. And you control the direction here in the cab. So this way going forward and then turn to the other way to go in reverse. And when you're in the middle, it's not going to move. And once you pick your direction, then you can open this throttle and kind of, you should hold it though from the front because sometimes these will just run off. And once you have your speed set, now you're just letting it go and enjoy running it for about 10 or 15 minutes of runtime before you run out of water. What if you want to add more water to keep it running? Well, that's when a good all valve comes in handy. This is the Goodall valve, and this is the Goodall valve bottle. The Goodall valve replaces the boiler cap. And what it does, is it lets you add water while the boiler is pressurized. You just stop the engine. Put that in there, start squeezing water in. This can be a little bit difficult, but it is a good way to keep your engine running and not worry about running out of water. And when you're done running to shut down, either you've run out of gas or you want to just stop. You just close the throttle, wait for it to cool, and then clean your model and wipe it down, remove the excess steam oil, empty the boiler, and then before you put it away, you want to use some machine oil and lightly lubricate some of the moving parts. This will help extend the life of your steam model. That's the basics of the Dora. Now one thing you can do is add a pressure gauge and that's where this goes. This is the blank part of a boiler turret. And I have a video that describes how to install it. You can find that on our YouTube channel or you, we'll put a link in the description. And it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Uh, and you don't need it to run this model, but some people like to see how much pressure they have when they're running. Usually you're running at about 30 PSI, 30 to 40 for this small model. Larger models can get up to 65 PSI. That's when their safeties will start popping. Um, well, I thank you for joining us and this kind of covers the real basics of live stream modeling and what you might need to, to get started and to enjoy it. That's it for today. And I want to thank you guys for joining us and I hope you learned the basics of live stream modeling and the tools you might need to have fun getting, getting started in this hobby. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to 
put them at the end of this video. And I hope you come back and subscribe and we're going to be making more instructional videos like this. And uh, we'll see you next time.